Hey everybody and welcome back to Ancient Ways for Modern Days. My name is Mike Freeman. I am the pastor at Valley Christian Fellowship in Longview, Washington. And, uh, and I'm so happy you're with me today because today we are going to look at another result of the gospel of Jesus in the life of a believer. You know, yesterday we saw that the result of a believer has a joy that no one can steal from them because of Jesus and his death and resurrection. Well, today we're going to look at another result, which is the believer's intimate access to the Father, direct access to the Father and experience of the Father's love because of Christ. Let me show you what I mean. We're in John chapter 16 still, looking at verses 23 to begin, 23 through 28. And here's what Jesus says. He says, In that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give to you. Here's what Jesus says. He says, When that day comes when I am no longer with you, you're not going to ask me for anything anymore because guess what? I'm not going to be with you. But you can ask the Father in my name, and he will give it to you. Verse 24, until now you have asked nothing in my name. You haven't been going to the Father in my name. <clears throat> You've been coming to me. Now ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. He says, I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. And I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No. Verse 27. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. And now I am leaving the world and going to the Father. So here's what he says. He says, you can ask anything in my name. You now have direct access to the Father. Now, what the key here is, is asking in Jesus' name. This does not mean you give your laundry list of all the materialistic things that you would like. Lord, I, you know, I want a new car and my refrigerator's going out and my dishwasher's broken. Lord, uh, maybe for some of you younger people, I want this new video game or, or these Pokemon cards. Or Lord, you know what? I want to be the best baseball player in my league and I want to be the one that always gets a hit. And uh, I want to be the best pitcher. I want to strike out every batter I face. This is not a... a a no holds bar, like ask for whatever you want. No, the parameter is in his name, in the name of Jesus, which is tied to in, in line with who Jesus is, in line with his identity as the Savior. This is to ask for things aligned with the will and purpose of God found in the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is what it means to ask in his name. And so Jesus says, listen, to the disciples, it's not that you have to come through me anymore, but now you go to the Father and you go to him in my name. And listen, he loves you. He loves you because of your love for me, because of your faith in me, because of your response to the gospel, you now have a completely different relationship with God. Instead of being a child of wrath who stands under God's condemnation for your sin, you now are a child of God who stands under the benevolence of a heavenly father who loves you. So go to him and ask for anything in my name. Ask for things in line with my character and with my purpose. This is, this is a wonderful result of the gospel. We, we sometimes think, I, I have the gospel, that means I'm saved. Yes, but there is so much more in your salvation. You now can go to the throne room of God with confidence. And you can boldly go before God the Father and you can expect to receive mercy and help in time of need. This is, this is the ancient way for our modern day. It's to recognize the gift of the gospel that keeps giving. You now can go directly to the Father in prayer. So how about this? How about as our video comes to a close today, how about you take some time and quietly go before the Father and, and begin to make some prayer requests. Ask the Father for anything, but ask him in Jesus' name. Ask him things that you know that Jesus desires. Ask for your character to become more and more Christ-like. 
Pray for your church to become more and more faithful. Pray for those outside of the church to come to a saving knowledge of Christ, a faith in his death and resurrection. This is the gift of the gospel. This is how we now pray. And this is our ancient way for our modern day.